In this paper, we set out a framework for estimating employee stock options based on Hull and Mike 2004, um, who had originally developed a binomial type model, a Cox Ross Rubenstein uh, framework to estimate employee stock options. We know that employee stock options still are a relatively significant component of executive pay, and we also know that the accounting standards boards. Um, in the United States and other global standard setters in terms of accounting uh, demand that employee stock options, executive stock options are estimated at fair value. Um, if we uh, have a look at that paper a little bit more closely um, and just open up the PDF file, um, for practitioners at least, um, there is some code that may be useful Previously, we had set out how to, in an online C++ compiler, estimate um, the Hull-White model. Um, so, um, in this instance, we're going to implement the Hull-White model 2004 uh, with a boil-low specification, which is optimized using a series of truncation techniques and dynamic memory. And we're going to set that up in a spreadsheet, in an Excel spreadsheet. So uh, spreadsheets typically are the first port of call for many practitioners, including accountants. And it may well be useful just to demonstrate this estimation inside the spreadsheet. So we take the code, we go into our developer tab, and we then insert a new module. So we normally this could be empty, but if we want to put in a new module where the code belongs, we just say insert module. And then we paste. And didn't paste the way we wanted to, so probably our best bet here is to paste, go back to the original code, and um, just have a look at what we copied. Okay, that's fine. Go into um, a Word document, right? And this is just a formatting ex exercise. So we double click and we open up that document. It might be no harm just to change the layout a little bit so that it is portrait or landscape. Okay, and then we just paste. Okay, now, um, If we, let's take the first um, option here for pasting and let's copy that again. So basically we have a certain type of formatting um, and we want to retain that. If we now paste that into the, um, into the module, we get a more clearly delineated set of outlining of the different lines of code. Okay, now the formatting has uh, lost the, some of the indentation that normally is associated with neat um, coding here. Okay, we've lost, but the code is there in its integrity. And this is uh, the whole white model. And just to implement the model, um, we can come down here. We'll just set a cell here. And if we recall what the name of our function was it was dynamic trun case whole white ball low so to kick off then the estimation we can go back into our um table five here of the article and just highlight the parameter values that we want to incorporate into the whole white uh, model. So we just take those and we can paste here to one side. Okay, so we need to just make explicit, explicit that S is equal to 100. We also need to define a time step. Um, okay, so let's come down then um, here somewhere and, and set out the, well, first of all, just to note that this is S, that the stock price we're going to say is equal to 100. And we should also specify the number of steps. And we can just put in an arbitrary value of, let's say, 2,500. Okay. And we come down again. 
we specify the name keep in mind what the name of the function was it was dynamic truncate all white boy low so we just double click then we come up to fx icon and that then prompts us to enter the values here uh, consistent with the um we can do do the values consistent with the table so we'll start off with a stock price of 100 an exercise of 100 uh, these values again are values we um extracted from Civintech. so time period Civintech vener zapatero the time the maturity of the option we're specifying to be 10 years the vesting period we're saying is going to be equal to two the interest rate is six percent and then we want to also put in 0 0.2 as the volatility the dividend rate no dividend rate in this uh, example but we could have a value if we so wished uh, the exit rate is equal to four percent so four percent per annum that's kind of staff turnover perhaps and then if the stock price exceeds a multiple of 1.5 the option will be exercised early and then we we'll specify uh, 2500 um, number of steps in the tree and you can see here the value already has converged so we have 27 8 5 6 5 okay let's just click OK and look at that and just compare it with our paper so for 2527 let's just copy this this is the whole white boy low which we know is a more accurate or converges more quickly than whole white if we depend on whole white converges slowly whole white boy low adjust for the barrier so we just copy that value go back into the spreadsheet and we just maybe just paste for purposes of comparison so this is the paper this is the value from our paper and this is the value 8565 so they're the same values and then we could try this again we could change our estimation from being um, 2500 to 5000 so we add in an extra zero here and we just return that and the estimation will take a little bit longer in fact uh, there is a kind of exponential increase um, in the time taken but we because of um some of the truncation and so on uh, that we provide with the uh, particular lattice we propose here for the accelerated hull white model um we estimate in again i don't have specific time for this should have checked but it's not um the estimation is relatively okay so we have 27 8 5 three five four and that was five thousand steps again if we take the value uh, reported in the table the true value twenty seven eight five five one and okay we can take these two so that's for five thousand steps okay so let's just copy that copy and go back to the paper and just paste so this was for 2500 steps 250 steps this is for 5000 steps the value for true we obtained from Civintech, Wiener and Zapatero and that value was 278551 with those parameter inputs so let's just copy and we can make a comparison And then the value we obtained for with 5,000 steps is 27.85354. So that's what basically we have here. And it is quite close then tr to true, which is Civintech, Wiener, Zapatero. Wiener, Zapatero value. Zapatero. Okay, so um, again, for an accountant, for a financial analyst who had to prepare financial reports, these measures are uh, quite good, right? So we can take 
read the function, specify the values, and with this dynamic truncate hull white boy low, uh, use the define function, we can relatively efficiently estimate uh, the value of the employee stock option.